Scientists developed and applied innovative technologies and discovered that IVF has no detrimental effect on the genomes of IVF children. Through the miracle of fertilization, the fusion of egg and sperm, our lives begin, a process that happens inside the body of the mother. In this process, even though millions of sperms try to penetrate, only one can win and initiate a new life. However, this miracle can also happen outside of the mother's body, in the lab. This is called in vitro fertilization or IVF. In a form of IVF, a sperm is directly injected to an egg, ensuring proper penetration of a sperm. Nowadays, due to various factors such as infertility and increasing parental age, IVF is being used more and more frequently, such that millions of individuals have now been conceived via IVF. After fertilization, the fertilized egg or zygote starts cleavage divisions. This stage of development is very fast and error-prone. Errors like gain and loss of a full chromosome. Those errors are primarily due to a phenomenon called chromosome instability, whereby whole chromosomes or parts of chromosomes may be gained in one cell and deleted in another. This appears to be common in early stages of embryonic development, resulting in the majority of pre-implantation embryos being mosaic, that is, having both normal and abnormal cells. More than 50% of all miscarriages are caused by chromosomal abnormalities that may be caused by chromosome instability. Even though animal studies have proven that chromosome instability occurs in naturally conceived embryos, the rate is significantly higher in IVF embryos, and this raised a major health concern in regard to IVF children. To alleviate this, we conducted a study to explore the genomic landscape of fetal and placental tissues after delivery from IVF and naturally conceived live-born infants. This allows inferring where the abnormal cells are allocated. For instance, if the abnormal cells are only present in trophectoderm, they can be found in placenta only. This is because trophectoderm cells grow to placenta and inner cell mass cells grow to become the embryo proper and then fetus. In our studies to unveil genetic composition uh, of DNA samples from placenta that can be a mix of maternal and fetal genomes, we developed an advanced computational method which is based on haplarithmesis. Importantly, our method enables determining maternal and fetal contribution to the placenta genomes as other genomic analysis methods are unable to solve these differences. We demonstrated uh, that uh, these genetic uh, uh, aberrations in human embryos are quite frequent, uh, but uh, fortunately these uh, genetic aberrations are eliminated at uh, later stages of pregnancy. Vital to this type of uh, studies is that it requires interdisciplinary uh, knowledge and expertise and this is why we brought together uh, leading biomedical institutions from all over Europe. This demanding research uh, requires the contribution of different disciplines including clinicians who are dealing with infertility every day, uh, uh, clinical embryologists, uh, geneticists and also bioinformaticians. European Commission funds were uh, driving force of executing this uh, collaborative research. In the current study, we focused on uh, healthy newborns, but we continue studies on uh, difficult pregnancies, including children who have been born from pre-clumping pregnancies and also for children who are small for gestational age. Even though we now know the genomic landscape in pre-implantation embryos and at birth, there is still a significant knowledge gap as we don't currently know exactly what the fate of aberrant cell is during different trimesters of a pregnancy. We are addressing this problem from different angles, such as studying the genomes of recurrent miscarriages and also studying the influence of IVF culture condition on the molecular state of each single cell within pre-implantation embryos. Integrating the produced knowledge and technologies into pre-implantation and prenatal screening programs worldwide 
will reduce not only the financial burden on healthcare system, but also give peace of mind to pregnant women, their parents, friends and families.